Hey guys, so today is all about coconut oil. I use coconut oil for a lot of things, so I wanted to do a whole video dedicated to it showing you what I personally use it for because there are so many things you can do with it. Like you could just go on Pinterest and find things, but I wanted to let you guys know what I do with it because every single person is different and I'm sort of obsessed with this. So the coconut oil that I have is by Nature's Way. It is extra virgin, organic coconut oil, pure and unrefined. I get this from Vitacost. You can get this, I've purchased this at Sprouts before. You can kind of get it at any health food store. Everybody always asks why this one. I don't know. I just really like it. I've tried a bunch of different types of coconut oils. This one to me is the smoothest. It's the softest and I just find that I like this one a lot more than some other ones I've tried. Make sure you're getting one that's pure and unrefined. I'm not going to talk much about using this for food. It's going to be more like beauty focused things. So my number one main love for coconut oil is to use it as a makeup remover. And this has, the day that I use this as a makeup remover, I was like, what have I been doing all of my life? It is a life changer, oh my gosh. It melts if it's at, if you're in a hot climate and then it hardens if you're in a cooler climate. For me, it's usually pretty liquidy or soft, but the second that you scoop it out and rub it between your hands, it'll instantly melt from the warmth of your skin. So I scoop out a little bit and as like my makeup's all on my face, what I do is I first rub it all over my actual face to get kind of break up the foundation off. I like to put it on my face first because if you put it on your eyes first and then your face, then your mascara is going to get all over your face and you're going to have a black face with just makeup everywhere. So I rub it on my skin, rub it in, and then I rub it in my eyes. Just It literally melts all the makeup off of your eyes. It does not burn your eyes. I have really sensitive eyes. And I just keep rubbing. The more you rub it into your eyes, the more mascara and eyeliner and everything is going to come right off. And then I use some water and I kind of help to get some of that excess off. And then after I have the majority of it off, I go in with a actual cleanser to break that oil up and then actually cleanse my skin. My second favorite use is as a moisturizer. A couple different ways you can use it as a moisturizer. The first is as a face moisturizer. So after you wash your face, tone, put on a serum, put a little bit on your hands and just rub it all over your skin. It'll sink right in and it really helps to hydrate your skin overnight. It helps to repair your skin and it kind of plumps your skin at the same time. So that's one way. Another thing you can do is just use it as an eye cream. I honestly don't think I'm going to buy an eye cream again or at least for a really long time because when I started using that as an eye cream, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's so thin and lightweight because I get milia under my eyes. If I put too much product underneath my eyes, I get that, those little like white dots. So it's just clogged pores basically. So I have a lot of eye creams right now that I need to use up, but you literally just put a little tiny amount underneath your eyes and it's so hydrating. Or you can use it just as a spot treatment on areas of darkness. It's really good to lighten up your skin. So if you have, you know, dark spots, you can just kind of put it on little areas or just put it all over, whatever. And it doesn't break you out either. Another use is obviously as a body moisturizer. So the best way to do that is after you get out of the shower and your skin is fairly damp, put it on your skin then because it'll absorb into your skin a lot better than if it's just dry. And I like to use it as a body moisturizer at night because it really helps to penetrate into your skin while you sleep and you'll wake up and your skin feels amazing. Another one of my favorite uses for coconut oil is a shave cream. And I don't know why I first did it. I think it was like, I was out of shave, I don't know, but it was like a weird coincidence. And I was using it and it was the best shave I've ever had on my legs before. The cool thing is you put it on your skin and it just hydrates your skin and really sinks in. But when you use a regular shave cream, like you put it on and the water tends to wash most of it off. With coconut oil, you put it on and it just stays in your skin, like it's water resistant. So the water is going to hit your skin and it will stay on your skin. And you get the closest shave and then when you are done shaving, your 
skin is already hydrated so you get out of the shower and you don't even need to use anything else because you're already like totally moisturized. Another couple uses are to use it as a cuticle oil treatment whatever. Um, if your cuticles are really dry just rub some of that on. You can use it as a chapstick. This is why this is amazing for travel because if you have this in your travel makeup bag, you can use it for your makeup remover, you can use it for your moisturizer, your body moisturizer, your shave cream, your chapstick. And then my last main beauty uses are obviously for your hair. So sometimes I will use it as a serum if I have flyaways or if the ends of my hair are really, really dry, I'll put a little bit on this. You can use it on damp hair or you can use it on dry hair. I usually do it overnight in dry hair. So if I'm planning on washing my hair the next day, I will put this, I'll first rub it into my scalp and then bring that product down, use a brush or whatever, just to really coat it all over your hair. It's easiest if you start with this liquid. So just really get it liquidy in your hands and then just literally put it all in your hair. I wrap it up in a bun and then sleep with it overnight and then in the morning wash your hair. I usually shampoo it like twice so it really gets everything out. It helps to really hydrate your hair, it makes it really shiny, and it also strengthens your hair as well. So that is everything that I use coconut oil for most often. I hope you guys got some new ideas and let me know in the comments some things that you use it for, for me, and for everyone else watching this video to see. I go through these like crazy but I love it so much, it's just a handy handy product to have. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and I will see you all in my next video, bye!